What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first clip of the week. I want to take this time and say it is Christmas morning. Uh, I want to wish everybody Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys got the opportunity to spend it with loved ones and people you care about and friends. I hope uh, you found some way to find joy in this day. Even if uh, you... Uh, in general, feel very unhappy and alone. I hope you find some way to, uh, to find some way to enjoy it in some manner. <clears throat> even if it is on your own, even with your struggles, uh, just try and find something. It's hard. Trust me, I know. I struggle with this stuff, too. Um... But, I mean, originally I didn't even want to make a video. Because uh, I've been, this has been a rough day for me. Uh, because I deal a lot with depression. And as of late, uh, the past eight months or so, it's actually gotten a lot harder for me to deal with. It's it's become very prevalent in my day-to-day -day life. Um... Yeah. <sighs> Do a lot of thinking about the past. And I seem to be stuck there now. Um, I go to work. When I'm at work, I start thinking about the past. Uh, when I'm home, I go to bed. I wake up. I come into this room and I think about the past. Um, and I'm constantly seeking some sort of escape. That's why I'm so invested in the movies and TV shows because I'm always uh I'm always trying to find a way out. A way out of my depression. A way not to feel so lonely and unhappy anymore. Um that's what this whole room is designed about. This room is about everything I'm doing with this room. The the tapestries, the paintings, the star ceiling that I'm making. Um, making this room. You know, it used to be that I built stuff around the hope of getting some sort of compliment or people's approval in some way. And I still do that. Uh, but now... I'm just trying to create a place to get away. Uh, that's that's what I do now. Is I'm trying to find things to to facilitate my ability to just escape what makes me unhappy. Uh, it doesn't work, um, but it works enough that it feels better than nothing. But it, it it barely goes anywhere. Um, so yeah. You know, I know people don't care. I'm just speaking to myself on a phone and... That's why I think of these more as journals than vlogs, but I just still call them vlogs because that's what I'm used to. I still censor how I speak and what I say. Believe me, I do censor. Even when I let even when I let slip and start cursing, I still am careful about what I do and don't say. I have been thinking a lot in my life about suicidal thoughts and it's not so much that I want to be dead I, I'm terrified of dying but I wholeheartedly wish I was never born I hate the fact that I've that I exist because life just hasn't been worth it and 
that makes me so sad because every day I have to put on this smile and every day I have to pretend like I'm, I'm enjoying the world around me and on the inside, I'm not, I'm just constantly wishing for a way out. Um, I don't commit suicide because I'm afraid of the pain and because if, if God indeed does exist, I'm like positive that I know where I'm going and I'm not eager to experience that for the rest of eternity. And if God doesn't exist, I'm not eager to just cease having experienced things. But at the same time, I just wish I never had been born in the first place. I truly believe that if I was put in a it's a wonderful life moment that nobody could prove that my existence on this planet has improved anybody's life in any real way, in a way that, that matters. And I just, I have nothing to show for my entire life. And so I'm stuck being unhappy now. And just pretending like I'm okay and happy. All of my dreams are gone. Dude, I, I don't have any real major goals or dreams outside of the next thing I'm going to put on my wall in my chill zone anymore. All of, I, I have no aspirations anymore. And it's been that way for a couple of years. Because I feel like I just lost, I I had chances to make my dreams come true and I was working on that. And then I just, I gave it all up for nothing. So I'm stuck feeling like I just have nothing left to go for. So I just live every day by the day without any real hopes. I mean, I have plenty of hopes, but... That's really what makes me depressed is the fact that I have hopes. If I didn't have hopes and I just accepted my situation for what it was, I wouldn't be depressed. I would just, I would have accepted it. This is not the happiest uh, first clip of a Christmas week. It's Christmas Day, and this is how I feel. But I know that this day is a day that a lot of people suffer worse. But this isn't, it's not special to today for me. It's, this is how I feel all the time. And it's exhausting because I just wish I could be happy. Wish I could find my happiness. Wish I could find a woman and feel like they were going to be attracted to me and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But my weight, my, myself in general, I just, I just, I don't know, man. I have no confidence left when it comes to trying to, trying to date. I mean, I used to have confidence, and I was making progress a few years ago, but I've been ghosted so many times. I've had more ghosted dates than I have uh, dates where the person actually showed up. I've had, I've tried to engage with so many women that I've probably got to be nearing the couple hundreds by now. See, nobody knows this about me because they don't pay attention. They just see what they want to see. So they see that I don't go out and put myself out there. But they're not seeing, they're only seeing what they're choosing to see or what I allow them to see. I'm a very private person. And I 
I don't know, man. I'm just giving up on a lot. I feel very lonely and very tired. And I don't know what to do about it anymore. I wish wish I could just be happy. I wish I could find I wish I could have my my goals accomplished. I wish I could feel like I could accomplish them. But that's part of the problem. I don't even have those anymore. I don't really have any goals anymore. My goals are so small now and I used to have cuz I feel like there's no point. Not that there's no point. I just I just don't have them anymore. I don't know why. I just, I don't have anything left. And I wish I could figure out why that I feel that way. But I've just given up. I just live for the moment now. And I wish I could figure out what's making me feel this way and fix it. Because, But I know it's not simple. I know that I probably need to see a therapist or a doctor and have somebody to talk to and that can give me advice back. Cause you know what? Honestly, I don't ever get any good advice back from, from Facebook or, or freaking comments. Most people don't ever fucking watch my videos or look at my posts on Facebook. Anyways, I get the occasional one or two comments here or there, something about stop whining or go and apply yourself or something like that. You know, nothing that's ever really constructive. Just, I don't know what I feel like is like the kind of comments people say just because they've got to say something and they don't really give a fuck. So they're just saying, well, stop being a bitch. Stop whining. That's, that's the reply. Your life ain't bad. Well, you know what? Yeah. You know what? From your perspective, I'm sure my life is, uh, my life ain't all that bad. Or I'm sure that, uh, the way you see things, you know? You know, the way I feel about things and the way somebody else feels about things, it's not the same. What I deal with on the inside and what somebody else deals with on the inside, even though you may be dealing with stuff that's worse than mine, it doesn't invalidate mine. It doesn't invalidate how I feel. And it doesn't make how I feel any less genuine. But you know what? Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. And that's part of the reason why I've given up. That's part of the reason why it feels so lonely to be me, too. I mean, for fuck's sake, look at my YouTube channel. I know I don't make great content, okay? But I have, like, almost 2,000 videos, six years plus of YouTube time. I've been consistent. I've been constant. I've kept at it. And I get maybe between 3 and fucking 12 views a fucking video. If I'm lucky, I might break 15 occasionally and get up to 100 in a blue fucking moon. That's my point. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about my life. Nobody gives a fuck about me. It's the truth. I'm worthless to every fucking buddy. Nobody gives a shit. And that's how I feel. If I want to spend time with family, I always have to go to them. If I want to hang out with a friend that's not these guys, I always have to find a way to go to them. Makes me feel like nobody really wants me around. And that if I want to visit somebody, it's because I want it, not because they want me to visit. 